This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. A Chicago City Council committee meeting about the city's controversial shot spotter contract is underway following a disruption that forced the room to be cleared. Good afternoon, I'm Dina Baer. I'm Patrick Elwood. We welcome you in uh, this midday on Monday. Uh, Judy Wang live at City Hall with what has happened so far. Judy. The hearing did get off to kind of a tense start with uh, two people, members of the public, wanting to speak and uh, the chair of the Public Safety Committee had to have those uh, members of the public removed. Uh, this is all about shot spotter. Shot spotter could go dark in two weeks and the mayor has made it clear that City Hall intends to cut ties with the company. The Public Safety Committee held a 90 minute hearing to examine the latest data. Aldermen who favor keeping the acoustic gunshot detection technology are still hoping they can change the mayor's mind, but they acknowledge time is running out. Members of the committee chaired by Alderman Brian Hopkins heard from activists Pastor Donovan Price, former CPD Superintendent Eddie Johnson, reps with the Shot Spotters parent company and others. Data the aldermen are examining included 30,000 documented incidents of gunfire detected by Shot Spotter from January 1st through August 31st. The city began using the tool six years ago, costing taxpayers more than $50 million. City Hall planned to stop using ShotSpotter in February, then extended the deal six months through the Democratic National Convention. Supporters say ShotSpotter saves lives, leads to faster officer response times to shootings that were not reported to 911. Critics question its effectiveness and whether it's worth the price tag. A 2021 Inspector General report stated less than 10% of alerts led to evidence of a gun crime. And early this year, the Cook County State's attorney issued a report that said ShotSpotter had little impact on gun violence cases. This is not a political decision. This is an objective database decision. And if the data suggests that ShotSpotter is a necessary tool, I'd like to think the mayor is open-minded enough that he can change his mind. Let's see what happens. Now, we've got a couple of weeks to figure out what the plan of action is. Uh, so we just wanted to set the stage so the city council can make an informed decision. The mayor's office can review the data, uh, hopefully before the end of the month. The number of calls that are received uh, clog the system, that we have uh, many, many uh, calls that are not emergency calls. While we have, and we continue to hear this, that residents would like to see efficiency and response times, ShotSpotter doesn't do that. Now, the ShotSpotter contract includes a 60-day grace period. After the deal expires on September 22nd, Alderman Hopkins says the company, it is his belief, can take the system offline on the 23rd. Outside City Hall, Judy Wang, WGN News.